ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா நமஸ்காரம் டு ஆல் த வியூவர்ஸ் ஐ ஆம் சித்தார்த் பிரகாஷ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் வித்வான் அம்ரித் நாராயணன் வி ஆர் வெரி ஹாப்பி டு பி பார்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் நியூ ஸ்பெஷல் சீரீஸ் பை கலா பிரசாலா கியூரேட்டட் பை எச் எல் குமார் அங்கிள் டைட்டில்ட் அலைட் ராகாஸ் வேர் வி அண்ட் many other artists to be featured in this series will demystify the concept of allied ragas in this beautiful carnatic music system to begin with it's uh, imperative to understand what the word means allied ragas like the word itself indicates it gives gives away the meaning completely the ragas are allies and how can two ragas be allies There are many ways. We have chosen one of the ways, which is of the uh, alignment of the Aaronam Aaronam. There are many more ways, uh, like Abhogi and Sriranjani, which don't have an alignment in the Aaronam Aaronam, but they are born of the same Melakartha Ragam. Alternatively, there might be Ragams which sound very similar to the listener, but they don't belong anywhere together, or they don't have the same Aaronam Aaronam either. So, the Ragams that we have taken up for the... Uh, performance is uh, kedara gaula and suruti so kedara gaula and suruti are very well known and very popular ragas in carnatic music and they have been in vogue since the times of the tevaram and both these ragas are derivatives or the janya ragams of the 28th melakarta raga hari kamboji so these ragas are allied because of course they are the derivatives of the same melakarta raga but apart from that their physical structure by that i mean the arohanam and avarohanam at the rudimentary level are exactly the same so if you take a look at kedara gaula's arohanam and avarohanam i will just uh tell you the swaras we will sing it and show it to you later sa ri 2 ma 1 pa ni 2 and sa in the avarohanam sa ni 2 da 2 pa ma 1 ga 3 ri 2 and sa so suruti needless to say because we talked about the sameness of aronam avronam has the same mm. notes what brings about the world of difference between the two ragams is what we'll be demonstrating in the subsequent minutes of the presentation but uh, would you want to mention a few krutis that are there in kedara gola so that people associate with the ragam so the references for any raga be it in terms of uh, academic purposes or for concert purposes or anything as a matter of fact we always go back and refer to the beautiful compositions that many composers have composed so in kedar gaula i think one of the best references apart from the aditala varnam is the composition saraguna palimpa by puchi srinivas ayangar this composition paints the entire spectrum of the raga just within an anupallavi charanam and the chittai swaram and sahityam and many other well known compositions in kedar gaula are para kelanannu by shri shama shastri abhayamba by shri muthu swami dikshitar and of course tulasi bilva by sadguru tyagaraja swami suruti is another of course these are all ragas of uh, that ex- existed from times immemorial so they there are many compositions in suruti as well they are pretty famous as well and uh, geetarthamu which is sung in the uh, tyagaraja aradhana so uh, a very precious composition of uh, sadguru tyagaraja swami uh, patiki hara dire angaraga maashrayami one of the navagraha kritis of muthu uh, swami dikshit so with all this being said can we hear a little bit of kedara gaula and suruti just to know where they what how they are so similar yet they are so vastly different from each other 
so we will now sing the arohanam and avarohanam for both the ragas and you will see that they are very similar but i want you all to note down or try to figure out what is what is different in both of them where is the difference seen is it in the avarohanam or is it in the arohanam we want you to figure this out so the arohanam and avarohanam of kedar gola are as follows sari ma pani sa sani da pa ma gari sa now let's hear some surati for contrast and the same activity uh that siddhar has mentioned i want you to notice what is the difference between the two the scale goes like this sari ma pani sa सानी दबा मागरी सा I'll go again सरी महापनी सा सानी दबा मागरी सा I have heard that Suruti has uh, a slight variation in the arohanam and avarohanam as well yes. I've heard it that I've heard that it is to bring out the raga lakshana even more can you just so show I will uh, give the other aronam aronams and the reason for the existence of the other aronam aronams will come in the sub, uh, subsequent sections in the video so the other aronam uh, aronam sounds like this sari ma pa ni da ni sa sa ni da va ma ga pa ma ri sa you can take any combination of the aronam and uh, aronams that the two aronams that are mentioned and make many more aronams like that but the reason for this aronam will be discussed as mentioned so uh, now that you've heard both the aronam avaronams i'm pretty sure many of you would have identified but uh, let's do our job of elucidating the differences so the similarities are obvious the scale is one and the same basically in terms of notes at least rima pa pani sa sa rima pa pani sa they can be said for kedar gola and surati but what are the dis- differences siddharth so i would like you all to visualize it like this these two ragas are twins twins have the same physical characteristic physical appearance but each twin is different they are not the same they have separate intrinsic qualities they have unique characteristics that you know differentiate them and using that anybody can tell them apart so the thing is in ragas in allied ragas like arabi and devagandhari in devagandhari at least there is a foreign note which immediately helps you recognize that this is devagandhari and not arabi but in the case of kedara gola and suruti we have to look at how the gamakas are given so if you take kedara gola the nishadam and daivatam along with the madhyamam and the gandharam they are separate they are not stuck together as you will see in suruti they exist as separate notes they they are sung as separate notes although while expanding we do not you know sustain those notes and sing but they are very very important anchor points if you have if you go back and listen to our arohanam rendition for kedar gola san sani da pa magari sa the ga is very important there to bring out the beauty of re re pa magari re magari magari gari sani da pa ni sari sari re so same way for the daivatam although not as strong as the gandharam and uh, rishabha combination na 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 tadara na 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 sarguna pa so the da is very important or there to bring out the beauty of the raga so now let's have a look at what suruti has to offer So the Nishadam Daivatam Madhyamam Gandharam of Kedara Gola were 
there out there determine box there but uh, the whole beauty and the gentleness of shruti uh, clearly he talked about them being twins and personalities and with different emotive qualities as a rasika with a subjective experience besides also being a person who sings as well i look at kedara gaula as a very majestic presence shruti has a little more gentle presence and the gentleness comes from this na 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 nidaba magari nidaba magapamari nidasani pa magari nidaba do you see that kedara gaula is nishadam and daivatam they are out there and they are clear they are they are logical they are there but then this is hazy this is emotional in nature this is what separates the two ragams and this is why you hear them very differently and you you do see very patterned phrases uh, he will be showing patterns in kedara gaula as well the vadi samvadi phrases magapamari nidasani pa magari nidava tadarane the completeness is achieved also by the symmetry between uh, above ma portions and the below ma portions and what do kedar what is kedar gode offer in that front so as you can see that suruti has a very strong place for the nishadam for the ni but that is not the case in kedar gaula in kedar gaula of course the knee is there it's a very important uh, note but one does not stay on that note or sustain that note it is used as a passing note and it is an it is a note that is used for bringing out uh, karuna rasa most of the times so for example na na are na are na na so that is one special part of kedar gaula of course we have the very famous kedar gaula phrase na na no na so this brings out so much karuna rasa that bhavam out from this raga and most of shruti's rasa is achieved in the nishadam tadar na 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 i don't need to say much in shruti i just have to say tadar na and you'll know it shruti because the nishadam is so prominent in shruti and that is what gives the whole bhavam to shruti tadar na 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 ari na 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 all the places where you paused were the places where tadar na 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 so the longer i extend the knee the more pathos i feel the more emotion i feel so that is the prominent note of shruti so yes uh, kedarugala also offers vadi samvadi phrases but not at the locations of shruti in kedarugala na 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 so these are what kedar gaula has for vadi and samvadi phrases so can so you... now what we will do is to pack everything to consolidate everything we will sing the aditaal the first lines of the aditaal varnas of both kedar gaula and suruti i think that will paint a clear picture as to what are the differences of so much that the very first lines of the two varnams will tell you what the ragams are so can you kedara gola varnam so if you take a look at kedara gola mm. sami daya jude man ji so a very similar start but a very different sound ಎಂತೋ ಪ್ರೇಮ ತೋ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ 
So, more, so all of its differences lie in the Aarohanam Aarohanam. All the differences exactly lie in the Aarohanam. The Aarohanam is pretty much the same. Yeah. But it's the way you give the Ni, Da and Ma, Ga combination. In Suruti, the Ni and Da, the Ni swallows the Da, the Ma swallows the Ga. But in Kedara Gaula, they exist as standalones. And they are anchor points for much more expansive phrases of Kedara Gaula. So... now can we give uh, an auditory experience to the people viewing <laughs> i mean it's going to be a difficult task what i'm going to tell you even for the two of us singing kedara gola after suruti and vice versa immediately in quick succession we are going to do it in uh, a swaram uh, format the korappu format uh, just so that it challenges us and excites you so ri 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 pa magare magare sa sa ni da pa ni sa ri 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 ni 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 ri sa ri ni ri sa ni da pa ni da pa magare ma pa pa va pa da pa magare magare sa ni da pa ni sa sa ri ma pa pa ni da ni sa ni da pa da ma da pa ma ga pa ma ri ma ri sa ni da pa ni sa ri ma pa ni 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 da ma pa ni da ma pa sa ni da pa da pa ma ga ri sa ri ma pa ni sa 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 ni ni da ni sa ni da ba ma pa ni da ni sa ni da ba ma ma pa ni sa ri sa ri sa ni sa ri sa ni ri sa ni da ba ma ga ri sa ri ma pa ni sa 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 ni da ma pa ni sa ri sa ri ni ri sa ni da sa ni da ba ma pa pa ni sa ri sa sa ni da ba ma pa ni ni sa pa da ba ma ga ri pa da ba ma ga ri ma ga ri ma ga ri ni da ba ni da ba ma ga ri ga ri sa ri sa ni sa ni da ba ma pa ni da da ba ma pa da ba ma da ba pa ma ga ri ma ga ga ri sa sa ri sa ni da ba ni sa ri sa ri 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 ba ma ga ri ma ga ga ri sa ri ma pa ni ma pa ni da ba ma ba da ba ma da ba ma da ba ma da ba ba ma ga ri ma ga ga ri sa ri ma pa ni da ma pa ni da ma pa ni sa ri sa ni ri sa sa ni da ba ma pa ni sa ri ri ma ga ri ma ga ga ri sa ri sa ri ma ga ri ma ga ga ri sa ni sa ri sa ni ri sa ri ni ri sa sa ni da ba ma ba ni da ba ma ba ni sa ri ma ga ri ga ga ri sa ma ga ga ri sa ri sa ni da ba ma ba ni sa ri ri sa ni da ba sa ni da ba da ba ma ga ri ma ga ga ri sa ri sa ni da ba ma ba ni ni sa sa ni 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 ri sa ri ni ni sa ni da ba re ma pa ni sa ni da ba wa na re ma pa pa ba ba re ma pa ni da ba ma da ba ba ma ga ri sa 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 re ma pa pa ba ba re ma pa ni 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 ri sa ma ri sa ni ni ri sa ri ni ri sa sa ni da ba ma pa ni sa ni da ba re ma pa ni sa ni da ba ma pa ni sa ri ri ni sa ma ma ri sa ri ni ri sa ni da ba re ma va ni sa ri ma ga ba ma ri ma ri sa ri ni ma ri sa ri ni ri sa sa ni da ni sa ni da ba da ma da ba ma pa ma ga ba ma ri ma ri sa ni sa ri ma ba ni sa ma ri sa ni da ri sa ni da ba ni da ma pa ni ri sa ni da ba da ba ma ga ri sa ri ma pa ni ri sa ni da ri ni da ba ri ma pa ni sa ba na ri So with this we come to the end of this presentation I hope you have all uh, understood the basic premise of what allied ragas are of course there are many musicians who have done so much research and all their works and publications are available online so I hope this has helped you uh, understand what allied ragas are and there are many more artists who are to be featured in this series who will come up with beautiful combinations of allied ragas so we thank hl kumar uncle and kala prashala for coming up with such a wonderful series and uh allowing us to be a part of this and connect with you all hope you all enjoyed this video thank you namaskaram <laughs>